All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today, as you can see, I bought the Transcendent Scroll pack. Um, I haven't bought anything in the game since last Transcendent Scroll. Um, and I hadn't planned on buying this one just because I feel like my odds of a dupe are high enough that it doesn't make it worth it. But then they included the Blessing of Summon, and I, I feel like it might be worth it again for me. Um, I calculated it the other day, and I have 45% of the Nat 5s, so I have a 55% chance of not a dupe. So for me, paying the full pack price without the Blessing of Summon isn't really worth it, because it's a 50-50 chance I get a new Nat 5, and that's why I'm buying it. You know, I'm not buying it for the Reappraisal Stones or the Crystals or whatever. So I had not intended to spend money on this, but then they came out with... The blessing of summon so here we are um i don't think the other pack to me has any value i don't need uh the option to choose different four stars i only want i think one four star right now and it's the blue dryad and that'll come around when it comes around maybe i'll get it off of stones or something it'll it'll be fine um the one legendary attribute scroll i mean it's a one in 20 chance of getting lightning and then again um you know 45 percent chance it's or not lightning, I guess I mean a snap 5. 45% chance of getting a bad nat 5, so I don't want that. But this pack makes sense to me, so we're going to give it a go here. And hopefully, 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 we won't have to choose between two dupes. That is my hope. Please, please, please. <laughs> I think, I, I feel like I did some really horrible math, and my odds were like, what? Like 70%, something like that? I don't know. I'm sure you guys will inform me on how to math correctly. So I have the spent Splendid Blessing of Summon here. And I really want a new net five. Let's just we'll make you wait just a little bit. I'll, I'll put a timestamp to the the actual deal so you don't have to stress out. But I just want to look at what I want because I think this is a, a fun way to kind of talk about account progression. Um, as a testament to the way they've been buffing units, I want, I kind of wouldn't mind any of these five stars in fire. Um, Zyros, I don't really need that much because I don't do sort of speed clears or rush, but that would maybe set me up for a future um, cleave uh, RTA. Juno, I wouldn't mind. That would be pretty nice. I've seen a lot of really good Junos in RTA. Rika, same thing. Velajul, actual three-turn immunity would be fantastic. So I would take that. New Kumar, sounds interesting. New Chiwu, also really sounds interesting. Um, Olivia would be good. I don't think I want a Druid, but if it's new, it's new. That's fine. All right, down low in blue. Loading. Um, yeah, pretty much any water monster would be fantastic. I think my most wanted would be Wusa for sure. Um, Amelia, Bulwark would be great, um, but I would take anything new. And then in Wind, I have quite a few Wind, I guess, compared to other other ones. Um, let's see, I'd want a Tiana, a Diana, a Fenyang, a Hathor. I'd even take the better Lucian, Odin, um, but yeah, so pretty much anything. Monkey would be fine. Wouldn't probably use it that much, but some of those other ones would be instant Devil Mons, and I've got lots of Devil Mons, so we'll see. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Transcendent scroll. We have the blessing thing. Gonna get a nat five. Gonna get to choose. Don't be dupes. Don't be dupes. It's gonna be dupes. It's not gonna be dupes. Here we go. Lightning. And options. <gasps> yes. So, we already have a Leica. So, we earned ourselves a blue unicorn. That is great. So, the option, or the fact that I chose to or i was going to choose to not um buy the transcendence i think was correct because the first option was a dupe i don't need two like us at all um but my odds go up and now getting a non-dupe immunity monster an rta monster all fantastic this is everything i want out of this scroll um yeah so let's go ahead and get this pony started there she is oh it's gonna be great I, I have a real problem with immunity in RTA, like having it, like possessing it. And uh, yeah, this is my first kind of real immunity monster I think that I've ever had. I've currently been using Triana and Fran, so I'm pretty psyched about this. We're gonna lock it down. Can we afford to awaken it? Oh, we can, sweet. And she's gonna get all the Devilmon. And yeah, that's my second unicorn. Now I just need Diana, 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 right? You get one new thing, you immediately like, oh, another new thing. How about two new things? Um, but I'm pretty excited about it. You've got the freeze slash stun here, the provoke counterattack, the defense buff on self. All right, and then human form. We've got the freeze. 
the cleanse defense buff and the permanent permanent immunity that's pretty that's pretty fantastic so in terms of units i want i think she pairs best with what fen yang right you see her and fen yang are like the op team um so i don't have a fen yang i don't know that i have any good defense damage dealers to pair with her defense damage dealers are kind of a weird breed but if i had a uh i guess farad's my only one that one doesn't really count if i had a one of those bulldozer teams that might be able to work um but i don't that's okay <clears throat> looking at my collection just i just want to look at this one more time I'm trying to decide what where she was in my list of wants right so on fire i want her more than any fire monster except for maybe Velajul, and she might be comparable to Velajul because she's got a cleanse um her immunity buff is permanent but not three turns so i think that's okay i'm okay with that maybe i do want her more than Velajul. so okay so i'm gonna go ahead and say i want her more than Velajul. i think that's accurate um, looking at other water monsters, I think I would want Wusa a little bit more than her, but she basically does similar things. But I think Wusa with the base speed, had I pulled a Wusa, I think I'd be a little bit more excited. Um, I think I want her more than Bulwark. I think she's number two currently. Look at the water monsters. And looking at Wind, Wind is where they kind of they kind of pass her up. I think I would want a Diana more than her, and I think I would want a Hathor more, more than her. Um, so I'd say she's my third most wanted nat five. I think she's a push for me just in my what i want a push to a fenyang or a tiana um but i think my list goes wusa diana hathor amalia fenyang uh tiana so i mean you know if you get your third most wanted monster and not a dupe that's a fantastic success um those reappraisal stones also are going to be super useful i'm trying to remember i think this is the rune it's pretty interesting right now but it's not quite it's not quite what I want. It does quite a bit for um, Helena, but it's a good rune. I want it to be like the best. Let's let's give it a couple of these fancy new reappraisal stones we just picked up. I've never actually got reappraisal stones in any manner other than farming, so this is kind of exciting. I feel I feel all fancy, you know, like the fancy people who buy the things. Oh man, look at that defense! But I don't think I can take the flat pretty good defense though i think i like it better as a slightly faster nuka rune yeah let's do it one more and then maybe two more accuracy speed Ooh, interesting this completely changes the the vibe of this rune if i switch it three more speed and i'm switching accuracy for attack there's a lot of things that want accuracy and hp <laughs> I don't want to just make it slower though. What do I think here? I think I think I like I like the accuracy a little bit more. The attack I don't think is as good. But I don't think I like it enough to not keep reappraising it. What I would really like is like 25 speed. Oh, there's resist. Yeah, I don't like that one. Nope, nope, nope. All right, we're going to use all five on this one because this is this is the one. This is the one that I want to uh, improve. It doesn't have an innate, but, you know, can't be can't be choosy. All right, so this is the best version of it, I think. It's hard to say. So there go the reappraisal stones. I got a bunch of uh, crystals out of that. But really, the, the best part is the new unit. So that was my Transcendent Scroll. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are also summoning a Transcendent Scroll, good luck. And, you know, if anybody can convince me that this is a worthwhile pack, Feel free to try. I, I don't see it. Um, if it had like runes or something, maybe, but no, nah, it's not for me. Um, so anyway, best of luck to everybody and happy holidays and catch you next time. Take care, everybody.